Hey guys, thanks for watching. I'm out in Murrieta, California with a good friend of mine, Eric Mike Tree. Hey Eric, how's it going? Hey Brennan, happy new year. Eric uh, is a longtime professional golfer, uh, like a touring professional. Really a grinded out quite a, a good career on every other tour other than like, I would say like the sanctioned tours, right? Right. So like the, uh, the PGA Tour basically and then the PGA Tour's branches. But er Eric has won professionally from uh, many, many different tournaments uh, over, what is it, over 60 or over 50, over 50, over 50 yeah. tournaments. And, uh, and you've, you've beaten a lot of guys that we would, we would have uh, watched on Sunday on, on TV. Sure. Yeah. yeah. All right. So one thing uh, that uh, Eric has really uh, learned and one of the main reasons I really like to talk to Eric is that he can really simplify things into, okay, like beyond theory, like how are you going to like actually do this when you have to on the course? So the, the main thing as we're going into a new year 2020 here, Eric, everybody comes to golf lessons with the same uh, request. Almost everybody is I just would like, I don't like, okay, I'd like to hit it a little further. I'd like to putt better, but in general, like I just want to be more consistent. I feel like because people ask you like, well, okay, wh what's your, your main problem? And I, I'm sure a lot of teachers hear this. They say, oh, I don't really have a main problem. I'm slicing it one day. I'm hooking it the next. Mm -hmm. I'm pulling it. I'm pushing it. Nothing main. Yeah, nothing. Yeah, right. <laughs> nothing that you could point to really. Um, so what do, you, what do you think is one of the main keys that people have to start thinking about when they want to get more consistency in their golf game? Building, building a motion that's dependable is, is probably a good place to start because there's a lot of different philosophies and a lot of golf swings but building one that is repeatable through simplicity I think is a great place to start to get more consistent because there's there's a lot of different motions and a lot of them have a lot of moving parts so the more moving parts we have the, the higher the chances are of it being inconsistent because it's hard to return this dime or nickel size spot back to the golf ball if there's say 10 moving parts versus four or five and I, I'll explain that to my, my school kids. Uh, they're all in math, and I say, you guys are taking you know, high-level math classes, and what's easier, a math equation with, with 10 steps or one with five? And they, of course, five. I go, yeah, well, that's how we're gonna try to build your golf swing, is less moving parts and one that, that the whole body is moving together. So, and this, this is just my way of building a golf swing, but any golf swing you build if you believe in how it works, then you have a good chance of returning the golf club back to it. But I think having one with less moving parts is a good place to start to get this thing to move back down. What club do you have there, Eric? Nine. So let's take with that nine iron shot. Show me like a 140 yard shot that would be, that would feel to you like very little moving parts. So just like the club to move up the plane a little bit. For my personal golf swing, I go in, you guys, there's a lot of you have seen my swing, I go in here a little bit and it comes up and it comes over just slight, but I do the same thing every time. Yeah. So it comes up here and it comes down, it finds impact and I just chase it down the line to the target. Mm -hmm. So when I change directions, and this is where I see a lot of people get in trouble, a lot of my students, until we, until we build the motion to where it's simple and then we get the transition to where it's soft. Mm -hmm. So when I get up to the top, wherever I'm gonna change directions, if I can feel like it's very passive, very neutral from, from here to about here, then my body gets in motion and this gets picked up as it's falling towards the golf ball. So I'm not real active from the top through about from here to about here, right? And that's where I'll see a lot of people get in trouble is they get active right here and they start down. Mm -hmm. Something's starting to jump. I just kind of let it fall down towards my left side and then turn through. That's great. Let's just see you just hit like five balls for us or so. Yeah. And talk about what you're feeling in transition. So, when I get up, and I've explained it before, um, from, and this is, an, and some of the responses were, well, great, now we're playing golf by numbers, and it wasn't designed for that. If the bottom is zero, and where I change direction is 10. So where I can change, wherever the top is gonna be is 10. Yeah, the, the final point of, the final yeah. Point that, it goes from up to down. Yeah. From about 10 down to eight or seven, I don't feel a whole lot. 
because mm -hmm. I'm not doing much. Mm -hmm. And it's just kind of falling down mm -hmm. and very passive. And my body, it's not a big crazy weight shift, but everything's just kind of falling this way. And then it starts to turn. And when this gets into here, it gets picked up. And then it's almost like a slingshot from right around here to the ball. So then where, at what point are you like kind of catching it, so to speak, and where is the hit, where does the hit start to happen or the effort start to happen? The, when I get into this left side, mm -hmm. up here, and it starts to fall down, the order that it gets returned to the ball is the hip is one, the torso is two, this left arm is three, and then the club gets delivered would be four. Mm -hmm. So the way I'll, I'll explain it to my students is, you know, some that are into wakeboarding or water skiing. Yeah. If we have a boat, we're getting pulled by a boat, and I'm right behind the boat, right in the wake, if I lean out a little bit, I pick up speed. Mm -hmm. I'm pulling against the boat, I pick up speed, but now I'm going the same speed as the boat just outside the wake. Yeah. The boat starts to turn left, I lean a little, I pick up speed. Mm. The boat takes a hard left, posts up, yeah. I'll slingshot, I'll yeah. really pick up speed. Oh, uh, okay. Right? Yeah. So, same thing with the swing. If I go up, I'm just passive here, this starts to pull away from this, starts to turn, this starts to speed up, this posts up, slingshot. So when you talk about transition and being soft there and, and waiting longer to actually put the effort in, how does, that, how does that keep us leading the club through and not letting it get flung out? This left side keeps, it stays ahead. That's the thing that's pulling? That's the thing that's pulling this arm. So if I'm, if I'm here and I, let's say I go here and I get down into here and I just, I'm not moving my arms independently. I'm okay. locking them here and then my torso and my body pulls that into there. Uh -huh. Centrifugal force will take that head and spin this angle and that angle to the ball as this arm is getting pulled into impact. So, so I'm not throwing, trying to throw this head past. I'm le trying to lead this left side as much as I can, pulling this into here until it's time to let these go. Mm -hmm. You're, that's the main. No, that's the main thing. Okay, yeah. thank you. So, are you saying that you basically don't do the hit until you feel like pressurized and your weight returns to here? That's kind of your trigger to know, like, okay, now the effort can can start to put go through yeah. the, through the ball. Yeah, and, and for me, I can I can change speeds with my hands and arms and club head to get whatever flight I want. Okay. Okay. So that's that's a different level, but. The main thing is, is to, we got to keep this arm leading. We can't let number four, mm -hmm. being the head and the shaft, pass number three. And usually this will pass when this stalls out. Number uh -huh. one, the hip. Number two, the torso. Kind of slow down or right. stop. Right. Number three is coming and yeah. number four is coming. And I'll see that a lot taking video from behind my student down the line. We'll look at impact and we'll see them kind of right here and their butt still here rather mm -hmm. than Right. getting there at him. So rather than in the camera, you'll see just like one pocket rather than like yeah, rather both than, two yeah, pockets. Yeah, yeah okay. more. it just has to be a little more. Mm -hmm. I don't make a big, I'm not, I'm not real big through here. Like trying to be super open, yeah. No, yeah. just enough to get it synced up. Yeah. Others will be, others will be less. But it's getting a player synced up to where those, that sequencing of one, two, the arm and the thing, the four, are, are getting in order through impact Mm -hmm. So everybody's a little bit different, but that order is pretty, pretty important. Hit another one for us. A little bit more zip at the bottom here. Oh yeah. So if I want more zip, I'll get this left side going this way just a little bit more to clear this out, to pull these angles in here a little bit deeper, and now they're... Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's not so much that this is providing like a ton of the power here, but it, it needs to get even more out of the way mm -hmm. so that that can continue Pull these the motion. Pull just a little bit deeper. Okay, so let me ask you this if you go over here. So let's, let's put it into like a for instance here for people. So if you have a golfer that is doing two things is at, from the top, they're trying to hit it hard like right away. So it's like effort like right away, but then 
it's like a, be a worst of both worlds as far as like they try to hit it hard right away, but then once they're about here, they're, they, they don't, they get kind of frozen with the hip. So I'll try to hit a shot like that and be like that, yeah. right? And then, because then at impact, I was about like this, but then it, when it flung through like that, I was really open, but once the ball was 50 yards out of there. Mm -hmm. yeah. So what do you do like faults and fixes with, with a person that, I guess we can start, you know, in the transition, just uh, really rushed yeah, and, to and hit it hard right away. I'll take a player down and we'll build the foundation. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's, it's a process that takes a long time, mm -hmm. but it's going to last for a very long time or forever it's because gonna... it's going to be your pace. So I'll take them all the way down and I'll call it, you know, 20, 30, 40% where all we're doing is we're, we're getting it assembled up the plane, changing directions, letting it come down to the bottom, find bottom, and then just sensing where the exit goes. Mm -hmm. all, all in sequence of the hip, torso, and the arm. So, so we hit a lot of shots here, there, just getting it synced up. And when a player gets familiar with how that synced up, then we start to push it up the mm -hmm. speed and up the plane a little bit. So th this is about effort level, like how much? Like 50%, 60%? Even. Oh, okay. We'll go down to like 20 or 30. So it's just, so it's get, getting this club synced up to my body, getting a sense of what the transition feels like, mm -hmm. just small. And it, it's difficult because I'll say, hey, we're just gonna hit a shot from here to here player will end up way up here and mm -hmm. they'll feel like they're down here yeah right i say that don't worry about that that's fine yeah we're just getting a sense of what it feels like to change directions more passively than it is being active here because we want to hit it right right because if you if you use it all up here it doesn't matter yeah we yeah. got no slingshot we're trying right. to like paddle the skier's trying to paddle keeping up with the boat rather than just be patient just hold that tension let the boat post up that'll happen right right so we don't let that happen okay because i've seen this with myself sometimes where uh on video and and also like the the quality of the feel like a 20 30 40 even up to like a 70 percent shot will feel really crisp but once like in my brain i start thinking like full shot or like fully hit it then the squirrel will get out past the the motorboat a little bit and there i just it's hard to bring that connection from that kind of thing that feels like almost like a big pitching motion into like a full swing shot. With your swing, like your nine iron that goes 150 yards looks like a, a big giant pitch, Yeah. you know? Exactly. So, so how do you get people to get, to kind of flip their mentality to bring those good things that they're doing with the half shots into like when they're trying to hit it all the way? Keep, keep doing it. Okay. Just be, keep building it up. And when you get up to 60, 70% and you're comfortable with how it's synced up and it feels like a big pitch, get it to 80. If you wreck it, get it to 70. Mm -hmm. Stay there, get it to 75, get it to 80, get it to 90. I'll, I'll hit one 100% you know, what I got right now and it will, it'll look more like just a 150 yard pitch. But I'm patient at the top, I let it gather, I allow my 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 body to still fall into that left side without it like jumping right so at the top you get to that kind of 10 point the final point of your swing and then your kind of first move down is to let everything fall into the left side mm -hmm. before you really start actively throwing yeah and i'll tell it's interesting I said to go faster yeah go slower Okay, so to go to to hit it further and go faster, you go slower. What does that mean? From ten. Yeah. We go slower from up here. Uh huh. We allow this to start to pull away from the the hands and the club head, and we be patient up here. Let it gather. Let this start going. Those angles get pulled in there a little bit deeper. So maybe one of those twenty percent shots. Okay, feels good. Now I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna shortcut the process way too much and I'm gonna try to hit it, hit it harder. Yeah. So rather than quick, 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 you're saying from, from 10, which is the top, to eight, deliberately feel like that's really slow. 
we've talked, I think we've touched on this a while ago, or maybe just through conversation of, you know, somebody had mentioned you the the transition should feel like the acceleration of a minivan. Oh, yeah, yeah, Monty Shamblin says that, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And I go, that's, you know, that's about right. And I said, well, I, I like the, the transition to be the acceleration of a minivan in neutral on a slight down, <laughs> right. down slope. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it felt good. Yeah. Nice. A lot of speed at the bottom. That's where we want it. Yeah, it was real. Yeah, it was real. We want it in the back of the ball. Yeah, it was real patient. Yeah. It's just getting it synced up so the whole team is working together. Here. Left side, the right side, the hands on, the whole deal. 